Welcome to the Sign Writing Stream, where we show, teach, and demo all about Sutton Sign Writing. This week's episode, Open Sourcing Sign Puddle 2 and the Server Move. Let's get started. As always, hop on over to uh, Gitter for our open chat in the Sutton Sign Writing community. We'd love to hear comments or questions or any concerns that you have. Big announcement, Sign Puddle 2 is now open source. You can find the source code available on GitHub. Let's take a look at the readme. Well, SignPuddle 2 allows you to create dictionaries and documents for sign languages using sign writing. The motivation for open sourcing SignPuddle 2 is SignPuddle 2 continues to be useful for people worldwide. For their benefit, the source code is now open source. SignPuddle 2 was developed over time. There are many layers of encoding and technologies. Later this year, we are moving the sign writing websites to a new server. There are several design issues with SignPuddle 2 that will negatively affect the performance of the new server. These issues will be addressed. Going forward, also the community will be able to add additional improvements as they see fit. The changes for SignPuddle 2, well, first of all, we have the glyph and glyphogram scripts in SignPuddle 2, but these are data intensive and wasteful of server resources. These scripts will be removed and replaced with images from the true type fonts. The back end for SignPuddle 2 right now is XML. Well, this is also memory intensive and wasteful of resources. The back end will be rewritten to use a database. It can we'll be able to use a SQLite or a MySQL database. Also, there are certain sections of the SignPuddle 2 that use extremely long URLs to add data to the dictionaries and to the doc, uh, documents. Well, this requires a custom setting in the PHP INI, and this can cause data loss if you don't set it properly. So these pages will need to be rewritten to use post data like they should have been. You can find SignPuddle 2 online for uh, our online website. You can find different doc uh, dictionaries and documents for different countries around the world. Let's take a look at the US. And we'll go to the ASL dictionary. SignPuddle 2 offers features you can't find any place else. One feature I particularly like is symbol frequency. With symbol frequency, you can select a category. Well, let's check hands and you can pick a symbol group. Let's check index, okay. And once the index loads, you can see for each of these base symbols how often they're used. The index on hinge is, appears three times three times in the ASL dictionary. And actually out of all the possible variations, only this one is used. That right there, we can find the different signs that use that. All right, what we get in, uh, in the sign entry itself, we can find the sign writing in Unicode character string. There's also other data formats that are available. The original character set was actually called BSW, or Binary Sign Writing. It's a 12-bit custom set that uh, we no longer use. There's also character sign writing that we no longer use. However, it is particularly interesting because if you go to signpuddle.net slash ISWA, you can actually look at the 2D layout with Graphite. This takes that CSW character set and it will actually create sign, the two-dimensional sign images. This is not a production ready font, but you can see that we are getting our two dimensional arrangement. And this is actually using the graphite rendering engine and that CSW or character sign writing set. After the BSW and the CSW, we have KSW. This is an older set that you will find in sign puddle too, but we no longer would like to use it. So this needs to be replaced. The interesting thing about KSW is that it uses variable length coordinates. So with the center of zero, zero, we have negative values. And rather than using in the negative sign, we actually use N for negative. Now, like I said, it's variable length. So when we have an X coordinate, we can have zero or more numbers still separated by an X. The Y values can be negative as well. We also have zero through nine. We have one or more of them. One thing you may notice is that this number coordinate right here is actually miss, 
categorizing our number, and that is because this is a variable length coordinate string. And that's why we replaced KSW with the next one, which is FSW. Let's take a look at that. If we go to regex101.com, we can paste in our string. Now this uses fixed length. So we always have zero through nine, three for the X, and zero through nine, and three for the Y. And you can see that in our character string, we perfectly ca capture all of the coordinates. FSW has a center of 500 by 500. And our last format is that SWU, which we have our nice one dimensional font available and our two dimensional font is in development. Well, the sign writing stream, it's more than just a live show. It is also the support for all of our various websites. We have signwriting.org, signbank.org, sign dance writing, movement writing, Gabardin Schrift, sign puddle sites, ASL Gospel, Frost Village, sign writer studio, ValerieSutton.org, and steveslabinski.me. We promote the standards and we have uh, JavaScript packages. And I would like to thank all of my patrons right now because we have reached the first goal, which is $150 a month, and that covers the cost of the current servers. Going forward in 2020, the main server needs to be upgraded and rebuilt. We also need additional services. This is gonna be about $300 a month. We are 60% of the way there. If you uh, appreciate what we're doing, consider becoming a Patreon and supporting our server move. Thanks for watching, hope it was informative.